Hello, today we are going to learn how to design a business card using Adobe Illustrator. I will learn you how to make this example and uh, this photo here. Now I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to choose inch for it from this menu here. I'm going to use 3,75 by 2,25 and the uh, color mode will be CMYK and resolution will be 300 this is our work space now we are going to start I will choose for the first uh, grid lines I will show the grid here because I want uh, the lines and the shapes to snap to the grid here uh, choose this option snap to grid now you can see the grid lines here i'm going to draw this uh, rectangle and the area place the whole area place i don't want a stroke so i will choose this option here i will make a copy from it then i will place it again in the place Control shift on and v I will choose a color. I will use this good color. This color you can see a green color. One of greens. I will use this direct selection tool because I want to move just the corner. So choose this point here. When it's blue, move it. Like this. The same. Do it the same what we did. When it's blue, move it. Exactly like this. Now this is the first thing now I'm going to, uh, to create a rule show and hide the rules you can uh, choose it from control R to show and hide it I will uh, drop here three uh, rule lines to guide me on my work now I will uh, draw here a line I want it to snap uh, on the grid lines that's why I choose from view snap to grid line I want a blue uh, white color for this line stroke I will make it 12 or maybe 10 10 will be better like this from stroke if you want this round cup choose it you can see this effect make the lines better now I'm going to make a copy from it hold alt and drag again so I need three lines here with direct selection tool you can make it longer like this but you need to choose one of the two points of, of the line this point for example when it's a blue pull it exactly like this make it longer or smaller and you copy here now I will show you how to make a dot choose this point drag it on the other this simple you have now a dot very simple to make a dot from a line now I'm going to make a line on the bottom so I will make a copy from this line here just alt and drag here exactly like this I want to make it longer exactly now I'm going to make a new copy from this line I will give it another color I will give it a green color I want it to be longer to the right uh, side I don't see the color uh, my color here so I will learn you how to bring it here choose the color from here you can see it in this color menu but we still don't have it here go to switch here then just drag it on your switch here exactly like this you can see you will find it here exactly like this now we have a green line I want it 
I want to snap it first to the other line to the white to the white line. I will uh, stop the snap to the grid because I want to move my green line up. I will use uh, a rule line for it to guide me. Now I will move it a little bit up like this exactly. Uh, we can make zoom in to make it uh, perfect. No, it's not. Not yet, anyway. You can see this corner here. A little bit exactly like this. You can see it's perfect. Perfect. Now we are going to start with our information on the business card, but I will make it first longer to the right side, like what I did. Use shift to keep the line horizontal because we stopped uh, snap to the grid or you can reactive the option now uh, i will make a simple uh, logo i will use uh, a letter for this logo so i'm going to write here g i will choose for this g i will make it bigger first i will choose a font type from here i will use one of this the first one because it's round I make it white now I will create outlines because I want it an object like a shape I want to give it uh, effects I will choose this from appearance menu fx go to 3d menu choose extract and bubble preview to see the effect you can see here 3d option from front i will try to find my best view for this letter or a logo now when you are happy with your uh, result choose ok like this I will move it to the corner above left here like this a simple logo you can choose uh, which logo you want now I will write here I will make a first a text box for your name so write here your name make it on the white because uh, the business card will be in white and green so the white color will be perfect center it here like this now here on the lines I will write my information or the information for the business card font will be 9 for example the email write here your email your email at, e at mail.com I will choose the green color then I will move it on the line okay make a copy on the other line here now double click on it to edit I will use it for a website uh, can write a website your website or the company website so website name.com another copy from it on the third line here double click to edit select all for the phone number maybe
some people have a fax number or another uh, phone number so you can write it under this very simple way I'm going to keep this information maybe I just need to write the address here in this uh, white space so I'll uh, take text box here for the address your address right here the city name uh, street name maybe street number two and again in the green color oh, oops from here choose our green color exactly in the place here so that was our first side now new document for the second side from the business card our options is here you can see the options still the same great I will take from our first side this two shapes the green one the white one I will select them then I will make a copy from them I will go to our new space and paste in place exactly you can see I draw a line in the center I will give it a stroke and color white color first then a stroke I will choose best stroke theme too much two is enough now I'm going to center it or space work this line should be in two colors white and green green bar should be in the white place I will learn you how to make it go to this menu here take add anchor point tool on this point exactly here make a new point go to this cut it like this exactly now the line is two parts one on the white space the other one in the green space choose selection tool to make sure they are two parts you can see our two parts now I will give this part on the white place a color our color make what we did the same here's the switch drop the colors you can see it here now i will give it stroke to like our other part now with a direct selection tool i will uh, do the same what i did in the rectangles to make this uh, corners here uh, to snap them to uh, each for other go to uh, object path outlines to uh, make the line an object now our line is an object rectangle you can see the points with direct selection tool to take this point here when it's blue drag it like this the second one exactly now the white part the same from object path outlines now our line is an object of it a little bit now the same with direct selection tool take this point drag it on the other point exactly like this you can see the result now we have our line is ready we are starting with writing take the box tool here write your new information here maybe 
your company name so company name uh, my font I used on the first side future empty like this here uh, control T to open the uh, text options mm, I will give it some effects I will make the space between letters bigger a little bit bigger from here you can see I will center uh, from paragraph from paragraph menu here I will center it like this now I will go to my selection tool to a ligand I will make it in the center of workspace now I will move it on the line my line to make it more beautiful like this the name company name the first part and the second part will be in the other color so double click to edit it now you, uh, first I will align it to this point here then double click to edit it take company choose the white color for it and the other word name will be in the green color our green what we used I can see now the result is beautiful I will make here another text box for another information um, maybe I will write a simple sentence just write your information or your text here write your text here mm, the same what I did uh, above I will make it in two colors the part on the white will be in green so center it double click to edit take the first part make it on the white on the other part on the green, uh, white uh, place and the green now we have a problem here the E is on the white and on the green color at the same time I will teach you how to fix this right click then create outlines take uh, the uh, direct selection tool choose the letter E now uh, the E is an object draw a line on it align it to the boxes the old boxes now take the line w select the line with the letter together go to a uh, pathfinder choose this option here divide now our e is two parts this part the first part on the white and the second part on the green take this part on the white and give it the green color the white and this uh, two the white is white so we don't need to change it our problem is solved you can see the second phase from the business card still empty I will make something here choose a text box I will write a G letter what I used to, uh, in my logo on the white now with the, the uh, selection tool create outlines right click then create outlines because I want to rotate it like this, uh, bigger and rotate it. I will learn you why I uh, make uh, why I made outlines. So I will go back. Now this is a text. This is a text here. Look, when you rotate a text, the text will not be rotate. It will stay. Uh, I will make it bigger to see. Look, the G is still horizontal. I don't want it like this. So go back right click on it create outlines now you can rotate it because now it's not a text but it's a shape 
like this you can see we can now rotate this object it's not letter anymore so I will use it in this corner here the left corner down like this but you can see we have a problem here some parts are out of workspace but this will be easy take the green space select them uh, select the green space with the G letter use this option here minus front this is minus front the front shape will be cut like this now this this problem solved but we have another problem here the text is under the shape so just uh, make this option um, arrange from right menu right click arrange menu bring send back make it many times now you can see the first uh, line the first sentence appeared the second but now we have to solve uh, the other problem with this uh, line the, the white uh, part uh, still in, uh, behind the green space how to solve this problem I will go here I will choose uh, I will hide first the green space this is the white uh, part now reactive this uh, layer go uh, right click then arrange bring to front now you can see our line appears again so a new document because we want to make a presentation for our business card I will use uh, the width will be uh, 15 I will use 15 for the width the height 9 is enough maybe 9 inch great so here I will take this I will group it uh, together first right click on the workspace right click on the workspace and group it take this first uh, uh, side I will group it but first I will uh, uh, delete uh, rule lines just drag it on the upper part from the rule they will disappear now group it together select everything and right click then group now edit copy go to the presentation area past past and place or past it's done, doesn't matter just past it here go to the second part second side copy it and past here's uh, uh, here are our uh, two parts from the business card the first one and the second one now i will bring them to, uh, together here the white uh, area uh, this a bit because we have a white space work I'm going to make this white space and black so I will throw a rectangle in the whole area I will make this rectangle in a black I will give it a black color right click arrange bring it back uh, send it send to pack like this can see this our business card I will make here a uh, two uh, rectangles the first one in the green color our green color what we used I will give it now our green color and I will make a copy from it under this rectangle I will give it's a white color but I used okay 
now behind uh, the green or behind the first side I will write which side is the first which side is the second so this will be the first side from our business card I will write here first side our uh, font type first side here make a copy from it under the second side double click to edit and write here second side this will be the second side now I will make another copy here I will write on this copy the code of the color what I used that was 00CCRR this was the good color I will give it the green color I used again center it here make a copy for the white box exactly like this uh, I will bring the white color code this is here you can find it here copy it or just uh, write it here again so control V to past give it a white color now this is our two books I will write here under them the font type I used on the design the font you will see it our first font on the right now I will copy the name here control C to copy control V to past this is the font I used Futura MDPT Pult I will bring uh, the logo from the first side here on a group because I just want to select the logo I'll make a copy go to the presentation area and past I will bring it under the font type here I will write uh, behind that I will make a copy from the text first I will write here you can write the logo information here if the logo has information special information you can write them here company logo some logos uh, have special information like uh, special designs uh, why uh, the comment choose this logo uh, the logo copyrights mm, uh, this, this is our business card presentation the logo should be bigger so I'm going to make it bigger now I'm going to look the background because I want to select just the business card and the information so go to object look look selection first select the background just the background now select everything and you can move them simply like this now I'm going to make a new textbox I will use the white because the background is black I will write here the letter G to make a 
what I used on the second side from the business card I will make it again here right click create outlines now I will choose a corner the right corner like this here mm, I will keep the whole letter on the space maybe the left corner will be better maybe I will try I will rotate it on like this smaller it's too big like this I don't need to make any effects thanks for watching I hope you like it please subscribe and like